Hi, uh, welcome to Back to School Night. My name is Eric Sang. I am your child's math teacher this year. So this is period nine, and this is Algebra two. Um, and the best way to email, the best way to contact me if you have any questions about your kids' progress or their grades in my class, or or if you know your kid's going to be absent from class for any reason, um, Sang E at DonnellSchools.org. So once again, the email is T S E N G E at DonnellSchools.org. Um, that is the best way for me to, for you to get in touch with me for any reason. So I want to give you a brief overview of what your kids should expect in my class. So tests and quizzes are worth 75% of your overall grade. So I'm, I'm a big um, advocate of you know your child being prepared and doing well on assessments. It allows me to know you know what your kid you know struggles with, what they comprehend, what, what they you know what, what they what they need what they need to improve on, and also you know with, with a big emphasis on tests and quizzes, um, I think kids will t typically be more prepared when it comes to taking let's say a college entrance exam or even once they're in college and being able to succeed in in those uh, college courses uh, because a big part of what what they do is you know is testing, and also you know coming up we have the SATs this year. Uh, you know, which your kid, if, you, if your if kid's a junior, they have, they should be looking to, uh, to, uh, to, to take. Homework is worth 20% of the grade. So homework is an, an easy 20% because it's really just to help the students um, reinforce what they already uh, learned in class. So homework should be, you know, fresh in their minds. They should be able to uh, just, you know, get, be more comfortable with the work that they just that they were just uh, exposed to. So again, 20% is a, a, a big amount, uh, a, a big part of the grade. So you know, I do would place emphasis on this and importance on this. The remaining 5% is classwork and participation. So even though we are con doing virtual instruction. Um, you know, I do tend to ask a lot of questions in class. I know this is period nine, so we do meet from 2.10 to 2.40, so I know they might, you know, I, I see that your kid may be uh, tired because they, they've been sitting in front of a computer for the last, you know, four, four or five hours, and, and maybe, you know, you know, it's really, you know, a, uh, it's a time of the day where they're not as focused, but I really wanna, you know, I still do try to ask a lot of questions, and I do, um, you know, expect that they, you know, come, you know, prepared and be as as alert as they can be. So to really help with this five percent of the grade, because even though this may not seem like it's a big part of the grade, but you know, you, if your kid has an eighty nine, do I give your kid an A minus or a B plus, or what if your kid has seventy nine? Do I give your kid a C plus or a B minus? So that you know, participation is really what what I see as far as uh, you know how much effort your kid puts in. So I know it could be subjective, but I think it's uh, you know important that that uh, you know we, we take this into account. Uh, next, I want to talk about is extra help. So I am available from 7:30 to 9:25. So between two hours in the morning, I you know your kid can see me again. Just have to make an appointment because we are kind of virtual here. So just make an appointment. And you know, I'll definitely be able to uh, do a Google Meet with the kid and to help clarify any con any uh, anything that's uh, confusing them or whatnot. So definitely take advantage. And also, if your kid is absent for any period of time or wasn't able able to stay connected on the Google Meet, if there's any technical issues, I think in the morning these morning hours are, are helpful to to get caught up with with, with the uh, with the work or to be able to uh, clarify any misunderstandings that that your child may, may have. Uh, so just email me to set up an appointment. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is buying a calculator. So I believe these scientific calculators cost about $10. They're about $10 at Walmart, $10 at Target, uh, $10 at Staples. So then there's a lot of back to school sales going around in a lot of different places. So if you wait too long, this may 
this the price cost these calculators may, are going to go up. So uh, definitely take advantage while you know these are still you know uh, cheap. All right. So if there's anything that I miss, any questions that you have specifically, uh, email is the best way to reach me. Again, it's t s e n g e at thenellschools.org. Uh, I just want to thank you for coming out tonight, and I look forward to working with your kids. So have a good night.